Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Assassin Ghost and today we are going to see how to get rid of this error in Rockstar Games Library service. So what happened was actually I installed GTA 5 and when I tried to run it, let me first go ahead and close out of here and let's say I'm trying to launch it. I click on it, if I press yes, and now it will collect information and do all the initialization and stuff. Now it says connecting to Rockstar Game Service. And after that, instead of directly going into the game, it gives you this error. It says fail to connect to Rockstar Game Library Service. If you continue to see this message, please contact Rockstar Game Customer Service at https support.rockstargames.com. If you press OK, it will just go down. Also, if you go here and maybe try to verify the files, it is not going to help. I tried to verify it, but it was of no use. You can go ahead and uninstall it, but it's like a really big game. It is over 89.05 gigabytes, so I won't recommend you to reinstall it. Then the solution, I actually found it. So all you need to do is go to your file explorer and then click on this computer after the click on manage and in the system management window which will pop up any second now okay go to the services and applications go to services and here you will see a lot of services which might be running on your service uh, on your system so we are looking for a specific service which is known as the rockstar where is it yes rockstar game library service let me just go ahead and expand it a bit it says rockstar game library service double click on it and as you can see it's disabled you can put it to automatic or manual you can go ahead and say automatic or you can go ahead and say manual once you do that in this case i'll do automatic and press apply you will have the option to start it now the rockstar service is running and you can just go ahead and close it go back to epic games launcher and then click on gta5 just launch it once you do that it will ask for permission press yes and again it will connect to the rockstar game service but in this case it will actually connect to the rockstar game service because we have enabled the service which was disabled so let's see if it works okay so now you can see our rockstar service is running as expected and you can just go ahead and play your game normally without any problems i'll just wait for a few more seconds to see if uh, it boots into the actual game but it should now work fantastic without any problem Okay, so as you can see, now we are in GTA 5. 